this month we've been teaming up with BT, so you can choose what you want to see right here on BT. And you wanted a fitness segment focusing on exercises for the core. So we brought in Lori from Hard Candy to show us just a few moves, and she brought in James. Who has a pretty strong core? Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about core. Let's talk about core. Yeah. I, I, I'm excited that the viewers wanted to see this because it is really important. Mm -hmm. um, so that really makes me feel good, and to be able to to teach it. So we'll talk about the core. The core are muscles that support the spine. Right. So a lot of people, when they think about doing core, misconception is that they're doing crunches and they want to work rectus abdominis. So we'll just right. do like a little anatomy here. Right. So the rectus abdominis, <laughs> it is the six pack. Yeah, mine's a two four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're, you're doing yeah. crunches and that's the outer layer, but there's a lot going on underneath that. So right. underneath the rectus abdominis, which is forward flexion, right. okay, and the muscle that, that is responsible for that, we have a, a muscle called the um, transversus abdominis, and right. it runs kind of like a cylinder around your waist, almost like a big belt. And basically when you contract it, you narrow your waist. So if you were wearing pants that were too small, mm -hmm. you'd have to like pull it in, right? right? So that action of pulling in, but not holding your breath is how you activate that muscle. Right, you can activate your core just by driving, by just kind right. of, just, just flexing. Just by pulling in. So flexing. if I'm poking you and you want yeah. to make it feel like it's hard. Yeah. So basically why this is important is that when you contract that muscle, it decreases the volume of your abdomen. It gets smaller, mm -hmm. a more narrow waist, and that increases intra-abdominal pressure Okay. Okay. And what that does is it presses on the spine and supports it. Okay. And prevents you from injuring yourself when you're doing things. Yeah, because core is a part of our everyday life. We use exactly. it all the time. So show me some of the moves that people at home could do okay. just to improve their core. So we're going to start with plank and yes. we're going to get James down on his elbows. So all you really need to do these exercises is a towel. Okay. Uh, James, I'm going to get this underneath your elbows so you don't hurt your elbows. Okay. There. Just going to throw that under the elbow. Yeah. So the thing about this um, is that you want to basically keep the spine neutral. So I'm going to get him to drop the head down a little bit. And if you can envision kind of like a little yardstick on the back, mm -hmm. okay, you want to keep the spine in line with that stick. Mm -hmm. James, show us how not to do it when you're arching your back. When you're, when you don't want the bum up too high, so that's one thing. And the other thing is you don't want this to drop too low. So that, if he was doing it that way. I would mm -hmm. pull this up and make him drop the tailbone down, and I'll get him to push up into my hand, okay? So what you can do at home is you have a watch on your wrist, and right. you're timing yourself until you can't go any further. You start to shake. You start to feel it in your back. You come out of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Note the time, and then what you can do is add five or ten seconds every time that you do it, and you build up that endurance. What's a good time? What should people be ranging for? I think that starting out with a minute, if yeah. you've never done it before, is going to be challenging. Yeah, it will yeah. be. Yeah, I've okay. done it before. So you're going to... You can even increase the difficultiness of this, right? You can. you can. Yeah. How do you do that? So we'll get your hands flat on the floor, and what we'll do is a plank up where he's going to lift both elbows at the exact same time off the floor. So push your hands down, and he's lifting both at the same time. So that's one way, because the distance between those two points is now greater, and mm -hmm. all of those muscles have to work harder. And that's working shoulders as well as triceps yes, and the rest as well. Yes, it is. And okay. then with the towel itself, you have an exercise with the towel itself? Yes, we do. Come on down. So I'm going to get you to come up. You're now going to put the towel underneath your feet, okay, and hands in front. You're going to come up onto your hands. This is one where you're going to slide the towel in and out. So it's a, it is a variation of plank. Pull your, your knees all the way to my hand and all the way out. So now we're adding that rectus abdominis crunch. Right. Right? So he's contracting his core. And if I wanted to, him to make this harder, what I would do is I'd throw him back and say, come back to me right away. And that's challenging, wow. okay? And then you can get a little bit of obliques in there by bringing two knees to one elbow. So he's twisting, see that? Yeah. Two knees to the other elbow and really, really contracting that. Okay. Amazing. So we're out of time right now, but I want to uh, say if you want to vote on the next segment, hit up Breakfast Television and go to a contest and click on TD. Hard Candy Fitness, where are you guys located? Right at Young and Gerard, right? Yes, we are on and the fourth floor. Uh, once again, Lori, James, James, good work. Show those abs again. Show those abs again. <laughs> Look at that. Now, uh, you probably won't want to eat your breakfast, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that is a good, good thing to note, though, is that a lot of this is nutrition, too, in terms of getting that six-pack. 100%. Pack. We're going to take careful. a break right now for breakfast television. I'm gonna, I'll do the plank. There you go. Okay, so... Okay, I'm going to push down now. <laughs> push up. Try not to hold your breath.